to episode 25 of Mickey's Musings and Readings. For those of you who watched episode 24, uh, last week's episode, um, you will remember that I um, spoke to you about a, a situation that, were, that could have been stressful, but how our journaling actually helped me to make it less stressful and uh, to stay calm in the, in the situation. So if you haven't watched that episode, you can it's still available on YouTube and you can watch it. So I want to continue um, uh, today uh, on something um, about our journaling. But first of all, I want to ask you a question. How do you deal with the little bumps in the road uh, on this journey that we call life? not just the little bumps in the road, but also the medium ones and the big ones. Um, so uh, there are many ways, obviously, that we, we can deal with them. But most importantly is to ask the question, are we reacting uh, when, we, uh, when we face a bump in the road or are we responding? So. Um, it's not always easy to respond um, and not react because the first thing our ego mind would want us to, re to react <laughs> and um, in fact um, that could just worsen a situation and the best thing would be or the best thing in situations where we face a, a bump in the road, whether it's small, medium or big, um, is to remain calm and, um, and to reflect on, up, up upon the situation. And the, we, could, we could just maybe uh, take a moment, take a step back and um, take a few deep breaths. Um, we could actually find a place to sit down and meditate and, and find our center, uh, connect our, to our true selves. Or for me, uh, the process, and that's what I want to show you today. I, I know many of you who watch uh, these videos would probably not necessarily be interested in our journaling, but I, I nevertheless want to share it with you. It's, our journaling has been very uh, important in my life and has helped me through, through um, difficult times. Um, also through good times because one can, I, I also um, uh, cre uh, create art and, and write in my art journals about gratitude. But um, let's stay with a with a little bumps in the, the with the bumps in the road, so to speak. So what I'll do now, um, I'm going to uh, switch the camera um, to a different position, so that I can show you um, my art journal, and and I'm going to show you two pages and explain to you a little bit about uh, the process that I um, I used in these on these two pages. So see you on the other side. So this is one of the pages that um, I want to show you today and explain to you a little bit about uh, how uh, about the process of um, or my process of art journaling. In fact I have many different processes but this one in particular um, this page is meaningful to me because um, I had a big, I faced a very big challenge in my life when when um, I did this page, and I didn't do it in one sitting. I did it over several days. So what I normally do uh, when I create a page like this is um, I uh, put on some soft music. Um, I often refer to Shastro, I often listen to um, Shastro's music uh, when I create. It's really um, music that calms me um, down, that, that, that puts me in a state of calmness, I could say. And um, 
uh, this particular with this particular creation I listen to flute meditations it's a CD um, that I really like very much okay so I put on some music I always have water with me because I think uh, the more we use our, our different senses the more we become aware of of just being um, and um, it helps me uh, also in the process of being calm and um, so I never have a plan when I do a, 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 any of my original pages create any of my original pa original pages um, I just start somewhere and I remember listening to the music um, and just taking a few deep breaths I first uh, drew the butterflies and um, I colored them. Uh, this is all done with um, uh, new color two crayons and some watercolors. And um, I like watercolors because it's flowy. It's it's it, it, it just it gives me a lot of freedom, and one never knows what's going to happen. So um, I I colored the 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 the. Uh, uh, Butterflies. I was searching for that. I, I had the French word in my my mind. Um, the butterflies. I coloured that in, and then I started drawing flower drawing flowers, and um, it's as if um, with the butterflies, I had the feeling um, that they um, just transformed from a, being a caterpillar into a butterfly, and it helped me to feel so free and. Um, and liberated and after a while I completely forgot about the about the bump in the road I was facing and with regard to the flowers also I started drawing the flowers and painting them and it was almost as if each flower I planted a seed and I saw the flower grow because as you color the flower uh, each flower uh, as you color the flower in um, uh, the, it's it's just it's it it evolves into a beautiful colorful flower, and the same with every other other uh, little drawing, the hearts. Um, it's it's like a process that happens very spontaneously. It's it's not planned at all. And usually, I have all my um, my crayons in front of me, and I try not to choose. Uh, the color it's as if the color that I'm I'm going to use it's if it is as if the color chooses me and then lastly I added the background and um, there as well um, the fact that I chose a, a light green it, it felt very calming um, the, the green was just the right color in in that particular moment so as you can see um, it's a kind of a naive painting but um, uh, it it was just the right thing for me in that moment and after I have finished the page it's amazing but the bump in the road disappeared <laughs> because as every day as I was working on the uh, these two two pages it's a double page um, uh, things started happening it was like miracles I needed the right people to help me and um, eventually when the page was finished um, there wasn't a bump in the road anymore <laughs> and um, the, I just want to show you another page it's very similar it was the same year I faced another um, bump in the road something that I had to overcome and um, I used the same process and you can see it's also it's kind of a, a, a very naive drawing and the for for instance the butterflies the castle the water um, it, those are elements that just arrived spontaneously and obviously they were, oh yes, and the sun and the moon and the stars. Um, those were elements that I needed uh, at, 
at the time in that particular moment on my journey. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> uh, it's kind of personal. And as you can see, I didn't write anything. I just um, I just created the, the two pages. Um, and because they it wasn't necessary to write anything there, the pictures uh, tell the story. Hope you enjoyed that. And um, yes, why don't you give it a try? It can be a, a simple drawing or a very complicated one. You can see these are very busy. There were obviously lots of things that um, I had to um, I had to face. So, but anyway, this is a little bit about my art journaling process. Well, that's all for today. I hope that today's video was useful to you or the contents of today's video was useful to you and I will see you again for an, uh, next week for another episode of Mickey's Musings and Readings. Take good care of yourself and uh, bye for now. Thank you.